Hey guys, Azambi here. From August 24th to August 31st, I participated in the Community Game Jam. This was my very first game jam, and I'll be sharing with you my experience. First of all, I found a team. We were a team of three. We created a disco and trailer board. The theme of the jam was, the game is a liar. We thought of a simple platformer game where you have to try and escape a castle. On the first night, the team didn't do much. It was bedtime for all of us, and we had to go sleep. Day 1 I started off with creating the tiles for the levels. No one really knew how to do pixel art, so I decided to create some of the art. This was also my first time making pixel art, and I'd say it's really fun. I created three tiles. A floor tile for ground collision. A roof tile so that the level looks complete and people don't jump out of the game. And a door, which will be used for a level transition so that the player can proceed to the next level. I also started on player movement. Someone in the group created a wizard sprite and I wanted to create a script for the movement. I only started learning Godot two days before the jam, so I had to watch a tutorial, and I found out that it's not that hard to create it. I just needed to get the controls and need to know the X and Y axis. Here and there there were errors, but it got fixed. I created a tile set and started creating a basic level design. I tested the project and everything works! The movement was working, the players were falling off the world, it was amazing. Later, I created some torches for level decoration, and most castles need torches. I also added a 2D adding effect, it was cool. I did quite a lot and that was it for day 1. Day 2 I wanted to start off making another tile. This one would be a dark tile, which would be used below the floor tile and above the roof tile. It's also supposed to give a dark castle effect. I wanted to create a background. So far, the levels look bland. I used a dark tile to create it. I copied and pasted rows of tiles because who would want to copy and paste one single tile at a time? A bit later, the team wanted windows in the castle and arrows to tell the player where to go. I chose a simple design for the window. They were also used for decoration. The arrows would be big and red to indicate where the player must go. Then I imported these into Godot and that was all for day 2. Day 3 I started off wanting to make a dialogue block. I made a simple speech block. I wanted to make a type of intro for when you start level 1, so that the beginning of the game isn't too boring. Later, I decided to make a rough draft of the main menu. I wanted to start on designing the GUI so that we can get that done early. I made three main buttons. A play, story and quit button. Then I designed the title. Sadly, one of the team members needed the tiles to be 80 by 80 tiles. I didn't like this because I thought that size took a lot of space. So I edited the tiles and the level 1 design. I didn't really like this, but I just kept it. Then I did some testing and yeah, the level looked meh. That was all for day 3. Day 4. Today I wanted to try and create a level transitioning script, so that if the player touches the door, they proceed to the next level. First of all, I needed to create a level 2. In this level, Players need to jump onto high platforms and try not to fall off them. Now, I wanted to create the level transitioning script. I watched a tutorial because I was still new to Godot, and in time I made the script. What the script does is, whenever the player touches the door, it sends them to the next level. That was all I did for day 4. Day 5, and this was the worst day of the week. One of our team members had lost all of the game files, everything gone. Sadly, he didn't make a backup. 
We were thinking of turning the project, but there were only three days left. But I didn't give up. Not yet. I wanted to start on creating a moving platform. I used one of the tiles for the platform. I had to watch a tutorial and it took a while. I didn't properly finish the script or the platform on Thursday. I had a lot of errors and didn't properly fix them. The whole team was sad and angry that the files were gone. I still wanted to work on the current project. It was so far looking good. There was no way I was going to restart. Day 6. There's one day left. What I wanted to do was to finish the moving platform and start designing level 3. So, I got rid of the bug that appeared yesterday and fixed the script. After some time, it finally worked. The platform was moving! I tested it on level 2 and it also works. I was very happy to see this. We already finished level 1 and 2, so I continued making another level. I started working on level 3. In this level, there would be about 3 moving platforms. Platforms move fast and players needed to think fast. Then I added the level transitioner and I decorated the level and I was happy with our game. I was all for day 6. Day 7. The final day. A few hours until the game jam in. First of all, I quickly did a few playtests to check for bugs. I had to make sure the game wasn't broken. I wanted to make the main menu in Godot. I learned about signals and GUI. Then I wanted to put my learning to the test. I had to make different themes for the controls and story buttons so that when you click on it, it takes you to the tab. I made a final draft in Photoshop and then made the actual main menu, GUI, in Godot. The main menu looked cool and simple. I loved it. A bit later, I wanted to make a respawn button in case the player gets stuck and wants to reset the level. I quickly made the button, then put it into Godot. This was also used because I didn't really have an automatic respawn system. The player had to manually press the button. Suddenly, I remember that level 1 was 40 by 40 towers, and all the other levels were 80 by 80. I really wanted to keep the 40 by 40 towers because 80 by 80 didn't look nice for a pixel game. So I made up my mind and redesigned level 2 to 3 in 40 by 40 towers. I also added a bit more decoration and, <coughs> and improved the levels and the design. It was all coming together. Oh yeah. I wanted to add one more level. This would be the final level. It wouldn't be too difficult and not too easy. So I thought of a final level and made it in Godot. Sadly, I couldn't get any enemies or bosses as there was little time, but I still created it. One of my ideas for the game were adding fireballs. I tried implementing fireballs into the game, but it didn't work. I didn't have enemies and there wasn't enough time. It was 9pm. The jam had already ended. Our game wasn't even fully complete. There were still 2 or 3 bugs. Not all the levels were complete. None of my teammates were able to export it. They were all busy and so was I. We were too late. It was 10pm. I still decided to export and publish the game. Even though I couldn't submit in time. I could still publish it in HIO. Sure, it wouldn't get as many plays if it had been submitted. Well, this was our first game. And it was also my first game, and I wasn't going to give up on it. So I exported it for Windows as a, as a .exe, and I finally published it. I was so happy to get it out on itch.io. So guys, making this game has been a wonderful experience. I only started learning Godot two days before the jam started, and I've learned so much from making this game. I've worked with some cool people too. Even though we didn't submit in time, it was awesome to get out on itch.io. I'll gladly be participating in more upcoming game jams, and who knows, maybe one day I can make my own commercial game jam and publish it. I'll be making dev vlogs about this game soon. I'm still working on it today, and I might make more projects soon. So yeah guys, this has been my first game jam, and it's been my very first game. Thanks for watching. Bye.